Okay, time now for the business end of the competition. And to talk you through it are two of my favorite Kiwis, Ricky Swanell and Carl Tanana. Thanks so much, Dallin. We are getting into the big show now. The quarterfinal cup draw lines up like this. Fiji winners last week in Singapore taking on France, who've been there or thereabouts, but struggled to get past quarterfinal stages. South Africa, Samoa will be an absolute belter. Argentina against England. And then we round out the quarterfinal draw with New Zealand against Australia. Just about ready to go. Crowd is coming. Chilly, cool climbs here in Canada. They've been well warmed down. This lot here have been right from the start before the doors open, queued up outside as they are everywhere we go around the world. You'll guarantee there'll be Fiji supporters. I tell you, those are a few Manu Samoa supporters in the house as well. They'll see them a bit later. But first of all, it is Fiji against France. Alongside me is Carl Tenana and KT. Well, Fiji looked imperious yesterday, but France have got the ability if they can keep the concentration the entire time. Yeah, for me, the secret for this French outfit today in this quarterfinal in particular, they've got to make it a scrappy affair. They can't let Fiji get into the work because the, if they do, Fiji, well, they've been super impressive with the amount of points they're in scoring, but have been very, very impressive with the way they've been able to defend it. Something they've really looked at this tournament and man oh man they have looked real good yeah we talk so often about fiji on attack and the razzle dazzle and the skill and the power and the pace but their defense has been a real feature this weekend france want to keep their discipline though they've been one of the most penalized teams heading into this weekend sitting sixth on the series are the french you look through them statistically every step they are near the top of the charts yet somehow they have not made their way through to the upper reaches of the competition this season so far quarterfinal number one here at the hsbc canada sevens in vancouver it is fiji against france for a place in the semi-finals And we are off through the boot of Maisea Nafungu. And already knocked down on Fiji's side. Quickest to the loose ball is Fiji. And away they go through the skipper Dangunu. Lojel can't get hands on him. Eventually it takes two French players to bring him to ground. Who are trying to get in there and disrupt Wakudin and Billy. Big one-handed mitt to get this wide and wide early. And already some space and already the danger. Vanakovata the ball back in field. And off the kickoff, Weissner Fumu puts Fiji in front. Well, it doesn't take them long, does it? Less than 30 seconds to get the first score. But man, oh man, you look at this pass on the inside. My goodness gracious me, look at that, it just threads the needle, how good. Well, they just continue to amaze me the way they dish it up. Well, always key would be starting well against them. Just when you think you've seen it all from Fiji, they put something out in France. Worst possible start for them. Conversion is good too, Fiji. Go up early. Seven points to nil. Oh yeah, up and loud. Right from the jump, the supporters as always in Fiji. And drumming's been excellent. France rocked back early. Need to get hands on ball. Shallow with the restart, and that's really good work in the air by Lugel. And France through Ua. Oh, get around the outside. The chance with a little bit of ball, a little bit of possession to create. They've got some flyers of their own. It's in the hands of one of them now. Nelson Epe is losing his footing, and that allows Fiji to try and attack that ball on the ground. Can't do so, though. Ngom the air clears away. Fiji, de uh, France rather, deep inside their own territory but that's a nice wide ball for Uad to try and get a little room to move coming across and making the tackle was Thanakovata and the penalty too great work from Ilya Thanakovata he was the man with the inside ball to Nathungu for the try and now does his work on defense as well 
And Davolo it was with the tap. Fiji looking to build, trying to get the arms free was Bakulin and Billy. They know they have to keep those wrapped up. Chance look like they've blown through over the top of this. They've done really well and they've got it quickly to their speedster. Epe, he has got speed to burn. Nelson Epe, they got the ball to him quickly and then he did the rest with those fast feet round the outside. What a great response from France. Well, I'll tell you what, it came from the breakdown work. Logel was amongst it, the veteran from Le Bleu. They piled numbers into that area. They needed to get their ball because they were short if they didn't get the... See, they go shoot. The second one comes in and the third one gives it out to Epi. I like the way he backed himself. The Thunga, you've got to remember, that guy's one of the fastest blokes on the circuit. And Epi gets front back into this one, very much against the run of plate. Now, quick heads up from, from Didier too to know that that was where his strike weapon was on the left down the blind side. And this creeping up, there he is, 28 tries for the series. Considering we've still got a few tournaments to go, you think that record of Julian Hendelon might fall sometime soon. Well taken off the restart by Fiji, of course. Looking to go width to width early. And some footwork as well. Inside ball can't connect from the Saku, but there to tidy up. Fiji again. And now straight at the middle. Oh, this could be dangerous. Tried to get the hands free, lost it down, but a penalty. And a double blast. Advantage is over, number two. Second, deliberate knock on. Yeah, yes. who you are there, you've got to keep your discipline. You spoke about a pre kickoff, that's where they've let themselves down, especially in these big matches. It's number four. Deliberate knockdown is the call, it's, number four, and it's number always two. going to be the case. Number four. Well, number four it was, they're just getting the right number. <laughs> no wonder, no wonder, you see, Ua look so perplexed. It's a good who goes to the Sinman instead. And this is when they're just so lethal. They're going to call a scrum here, which is a smart move by Fiji. Here's, here's the Grua, just getting his hands up. Yeah, that's fair enough. All the players know they can't do that. We've got to have a legitimate attempt to try and get that ball back, and he did it, and he pays the price. Coach! Find! Shows how good Fiji has started this match. Yeah, we were just about to mention Jerry Toy's name for the first time. Oh, free kick, no. Early. Well, Vakuru Nabili is saying they have actually pulled back the French there to get that penalty. He's been around a long time as Vakuru Nabili, and he saw that coming a mile off. The referee did it. Lever taps on halfway for France. Down to six, and that's not going to help their cause either. It's hacked ahead, and now it's a foot race. France trying to get back as Epe, the speedster, who does well, but now they Fiji are. just pile in ball, spills out the back four. No, <laughs> France trying to be physical, but doing so illegally, trying to play on the ground, and Fiji have got numbers to burn. They are lining up out wide, and it's the captain, Kavita Dongunu, who gets Fiji second of the quarterfinal. Yeah, just lifting the tempo, aren't they? The Fijians, and someone's down after that last ruck from Fiji. We can't see the number at the minute. France scrambling back. They take the quick tap. Always had numbers loaded. And the easiest of tries, and they take the full advantage of the miracle advantage that they have at the moment. Kick is trying to come around, but stays wide this try goes what unconverted was, was the <laughs> I'm going to watch for it I need you to hold your weight and don't go forward I'll make sure they take the hit yeah the skipper just talking about that free that penalty from the scrum Thank it's you. fair enough that's good from the skipper to beat the Dogungu Nanduvalo who was down but he is there he's the one chasing this down for Fiji as France still a player short at the moment. Here's Epe, a little stutter step, and again he's got the throw on the outside. Oh, desperate from Fiji. It needed to be made. The ankle tap is Rebages caught on the 10 meter line, and the ball spills clear. And here's broken play for Fiji Over. to work with. France may be stretched with just six on the field still. Wide they go early for Tanakavata. 
A Roll penalty again, time. just getting piggybacked down the field at the moment. Fiji, Dongunu goes. And they look to spread through the right. And Rasaku can't get the ball back in field just yet. Funothungu does so now. There's some big hits coming in That's from right, France. Right. It's just disrupting the Fijians as well. But that always makes there's going to be some space somewhere, especially with a little flick ball like that. And there's another knockdown and more trouble coming for the French on the stroke of half time. Gondidi it is. Another knockdown, frustration, just as they were about to get the full compliment back. They'll start the second half. Time with off. a player short. Number nine blue, deliberate yeah. knock-on. Looks like for front, Igrahua has come back on. Because another player leaves. This is where they're so lethal, Fiji. So, still only six. And there's the footwork of Nanduvalo. He scored tries for fun since making his debut on the series a week ago. Rasaku. His step and weave and bob his way through and then gets the inside ball. from a big man up the middle and now they're just carving a track. Uh, Fiji just about breaks down and then pops the ball for who else but Huivoa Nandavolo. He scored a try in every match he's played since making his debut last week and puts another one on the score sheet. Absolutely relentless, aren't they? Fiji and here's the nice footwork initially. And numbers loaded. See the way they position themselves to Receive that pass. Skipper keeping his head in the net. There's the last one off the deck. Nandu Volo puts an end to a good first seven minutes for Fiji. And the conversion as well. So Fiji will go to the break with a handy lead, lead over France. 19 points to seven in the first quarter final. against Samoa. A couple of teams who are both down on personnel. South Africa with injury, Samoa with suspension, but boy, <laughs> boy, that is going to be some clashes of big bodies. Well, I'll tell you what, if you like physical rugby sevens and don't you go anywhere, the Blitz Bok and Samoa are going to put on a show right after Fiji and France, but she's looking forward to that one. You always know when you're confident, when you hear the comms from the players, you know, just from our cameras right in the middle of the field, the Fijians all having something to say, all positive words. This French team, they have looked dangerous. Irakua back out there for France, but still with one player in the Sinbin. They drive this restart long. All the work ahead of the French. 19 points to seven. It's a good chop tackle around the ankles by Riva. But the offloads are coming. That one doesn't stick, though. And here's some ball for France if they can make the most of it. Fiji trying to get in and disrupt again, and that'll be a penalty. Fiji players off their feet. There was a number of... French players too, too. In fact, Logel wanted to go quickly. They said they're going to slow it down. Remember, there's still a man Not down. Yet. Not yet. It's a good positive play. They're still going to the line out. They're going to try and back themselves with ball in hand. They'll get from Didier back shortly because there was time after that hooter in the first half. And that's a good ball. And oh, what a hand from the Thungu. No, to play get on. He's the ball. to ground play when on. open spaces were ahead of him, Riva. Now he gets the offload away. That's gone backwards for Uya. And the offload is good for him as well. That's true ball onto the field. Straight impact straight away after the break for France. A timely score for the French. Well, just remember, they still only got six players on the field. Le Bleu at the moment. Trabal, well, the offload. That was a nice line. That's the second time the Thungu saved him with an ankle tap. 
But in the end, the offload, the strength from Huya, who's been very good in this game, has given the French a little bit of a sniff. Great conversion too from Pauline Riva to convert Trouval Shrai and Grandinier back out there now. So back to seven France. Back to a five point margin. 19-14 Fiji lead. Fiji. Trying to create and weave and Nuthungu just manipulating this right side, looking for numbers and all oh, the hands are no good from Tuai. Which is something you really say. And just took a little knock on the way to ground. Yeah, doesn't look good, does he, Jerry Tuai? That's outstanding work for him. He tries to batter it back. Just landed awkwardly on the release, but France, another opportunity at the right end of the field. France and Agua. Wide they come for through a bar. One of the try scorers. They're getting it to their wide man quickly, looking to accelerate the big hit. And Grondinier on the wraparound. Has he got the footwork to get around? He does on to Y. And France go bang, bang, straight after half time. And they are right back in this quarter final. Where they're finding a lot of success is out on the edge in the wings. They're getting their ball away. They're joining two defenders. Here's the strong one on the inside. They know they've got the center looping around. And that's the second time that's worked for the French team. And Grand Didier gets France on even terms. For the lead. It's good. And France go ahead. 21 points to 19 in the quarterfinal. Just under four minutes to play. Massive, massive kickoff. This one here, this restart. Fiji desperately need their hands on the ball right now. Restart is away. Lucille gets up high and it's gone backwards off her yeah. initially. Backwards off the French and now Fiji arguing the point and it's a knock on by Fiji. More ball for France. Lucille was the one that got up there, I think. Time off. For the French. Two blue. Substitution. Well, they've been physical, this French team. That's the secret so far. Ben Gollins here in charge of this Fijian outfit. Absolute legend of the game. Time back on. Crouch. Bind. Set. In and out it goes from Mazzolini. Standing in midfield, Gundidiak has been good since coming in off the Sinbin. Now some big, strong bodies in there too. Seffel. Plays it back for Mazzolini. France using their bench. Try and create right an issue. Big, huge wide ball, but the hands weren't there from Trubal. Probably looked up, saw some space. Couldn't haul it in. You've got to take that ball, have to in these moments. This is where I think Fiji are going to sting them. Ball was a little bit high. Here we go. Yeah, no, man. Man. That time I've been pulling, pulling. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. They're still having this argument it. here Let's in the scrums, bases. aren't they, Fiji? Oh, sorry, before. France are trying to pull out of the contact. Stand up. Pull out of the hit. Both of you have to bind to the hooker. Thank you. So what's out there? Find it. What's out there? What's out there? See how low the French are getting. They're trying to get Bunch. underneath the Fiji and front rowers. Bind. Set. Two stay in. Two points in it. Just under two minutes to play. To White clears for Fiji. They haven't had hands on ball hardly at all in the second half. And now the danger and the footwork and the speed comes to the fore as well as Masaku looking to link up with Nufungu. Just taken down in a good tackle. And Grandini has he stolen that back? Not quite for the French. But here come Fiji. Trying to go wide and wide quickly. They've got numbers if they need it, but they won't need them. And it's Jerry Tuai. Who else? We Fiji need a big play. It's their little wizard. One mistake from France and Fiji absolutely make them pay. This was a beautiful run. I like the way he was composed. 
there are Saku. Nathungu does well to keep that ball, quick recycle, and when they need him most, it's their top shelf player in Jerry Tuai coming up with the score to take the lead. Took a couple of knocks. Version is no good though, so it's not done. Stats and still only 33 can keep going for ages. There's a CV if you want one. 55 tournaments, 135 times. Two gold medals in the back pocket. Jerry Tuai, one of the best ever. Fiji by three, 24 21. They go down to the 22 with the restart, and it's taken in by Mazalenet. Bouchet on a 13. Shuabal balls that one in. He's got one trying, going to try and chop back in field and link up and be careful because man on. Good strength in the tackle from Seffold to stand, and now they've created a little bit of an overlap out here if they can make the most of it. Oh, Mazzolini, the player had cut back in field. He lost sight of Lagelle, and Lagelle hands on his because as the siren goes, Fiji's last, uh, France's last chance goes out either the sideline as well, and Fiji with a late try will go through to the semi finals 24 21 over France.